This is Jeffrey Hahn, Pine Run Garden. And we're just exploring ways to live a more ecological, low impact lifestyle. And we're exploring some permaculture techniques here in our sort of um, house garden, our kitchen garden that's right near the house. And we've established some no-till permanent beds. We're using deep mulch. And um, one of the techniques we're exploring is planting annuals that will, and biannuals, that will reseed. And um, if we can get the right cycle going, then they'll sort of propagate themselves in the garden. And then we can uh, then just transplant them, thin them out, move them around. And, you know, it's a lot less work working more with nature. And so uh, we've tried that with a few things with some success. But one of the things we're doing with annuals is trying to incorporate annuals and biannuals that reseed. Uh, and so kind of propagate themselves and then we just have to thin them or transplant them to where we want them. So we're working more with nature. So let's just go down here and take a look at some turnips that reseeded. And there were just like three or four plants here that went to seed. A Japanese variety, I forget the name of it. But now there are, you know, there's just hundreds of them here. They need thinned out, but even though, you know, they're kind of in here thick, some are still fattening up, creating some nice white turnips under there. And they're like a salad turnip, very tender, really good. So that worked really well, and they're very cold tolerant, so it's sort of the end of October here. Mid end of October, I think it's around the 20th. So they'll last, you know, well into the cold weather. And then down here, we have another reseeding success with Chinese cabbage and bok choy. I mean, look at the size of that sucker. That is just huge. So here in this front bed here, I had some bok choy and um, some like Savoy Chinese cabbage that um, I wanted to see if I could overwinter. And I did. I, I had some row covers on it and it overwintered really well. And a couple of the plants were doing really well. So I decided to uh, let them go to seed and see if I could have them reseed here and kind of keep the cycle going. And it really worked well. A bunch, but they crossed. So they're kind of crossed between bok choy and Chinese cabbage. So they look really good though. So uh, you can see I transplanted them into you know, a pattern here, a rose on either side of these. You can see the pepper plants in the middle of the bed there that have gotten four or five light frosts, but they're still going. So, and right here also was a, just one cilantro plant that I let go to seed. And then uh, I actually made a couple drills a couple furrows here and took a bunch of the seeds and just put them covered them a little bit with soil but a lot of them just fell and started growing so cilantro reseeded here really nicely and this kind of chinese cabbage stuff that looks really good and over here earlier this year i had some spinach growing with potatoes and uh, we had a really thick mulch. The spinach did really good. So I let it go to seed to collect the seed and I did collect some of the seed, but it also, a lot of the seeds fell. And now look at these spinach 
seedlings all over the place. So they're very cold tolerant as well. And this is um, uh, winter Bloomsdale, so it's particularly cold tolerant. And so I can now transplant these out in the mount and we'll have a whole bunch of spinach. Here's a few that grew a little bit, you know, sprouted a little bit earlier in there. I mean, they're only a week and a half old and they're really developing into some nice spinach plants already. So, I didn't have to plant anything. The seeds just fell and over here too I saved some lettuce plants to reseed and I thought the goldfinches ate all the seeds because there were none on the plants but then a whole bunch must have fallen because now there's tons of lettuce seeds sprouting under here too. Although not as cold tolerant these probably unless we have warm weather you know they won't take a hard frost but still I love all these plants reseeding in here way to work with annuals in a permaculture system letting them go to seed very neat so really happy with this little experiment yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to try some permaculture techniques in your own garden and at least maybe try to grow some of your own food.